Hello, 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 and welcome to my latest piece. This is an homage to Vincent van Gogh, um, inspired by three pieces, Sunflowers, Irises, and Starry Night on the Roan. This is the end result. It's going to be a great job getting there, and as I say, it's inspired by Irises. This piece, Starry Night on the Roan and also sunflowers. So you're going to see exactly how I created this piece as we go. So I started out with a base of white paint. Um, it's actually a mix of white acrylic and enamel radiator paint. I started out layering in the blues for the bit that's inspired by Starry Night on the Rhone and Irises. Um, mm. It's a um, bit of a surrealist piece, um, as the vase is the Starry Night on the Rhone. The colours that I'm using there are phthalo blue, uh, pearl blue by Arteza, and... I believe a brilliant blue. What I'm doing at the moment is just drawing in the vague shape and adding in a bit more of the white paint. And now I'm going to blow it out. So I'm doing a Van Gogh um, homage, but all in fluid acrylic paint which is amazing and fantastic and I love it um, so the vase milk jug thing um, is actually done as a Dutch pour using the um, using the hairdryer there and that is pretty much the last time you can see the hairdryer in this piece the rest of it is going to be swipes and finger painting um, so I'm starting to get the buds of the flowers, and I'm using my own um, flower swipe technique um, called a Nova flower from the fact that they do kind of look a little bit like a supernova coming out, but in a floral pattern from the petals. I've deliberately placed the flowers where they are so that it will look kind of a mix of sunflowery and irisy in the delivery at least that is my hope um, so this is a mars black mixed with gloss medium and here i'm adding in some extra white in and drawing in the spout of the jug and the base of it as well. So I'm starting up by layering my paints in. They're going to be in three-ish sections. So I've got the blue and purple section here, the middle sections, the red one, and the um, more purple and blue, but a darker version of purple and blue on the other edge. So I'm now swiping the flower in on this one. You will notice in this video that it will go fast and slow. It took, this recording was over two hours long, so I have sped parts up. Um, with each set of flowers I've done a the first one slower and then sped up the rest of them, otherwise you really would get bored of me wittering on all the royalty-free music that I will bring in for various sections where you don't really need me to explain what I'm doing. At this bit, I'm doing the swipes with um, tissue paper, very thin tissue paper, to get the shape of the petals as they come out. Uh, I started on this side with a very light set of colours, so it's um, 
Uh, I'll put the colours that I used in the description box below. I can't remember exactly what they are when I am doing the voiceover, but they were layered up specifically in different orders, so no one flower would look the same as the others. You get different colour effects based on the colours being laid on top of each other. I've done that one bit there, and I now remembered that I'd forgotten to do the kind of starry night on the own, the yellow bit, on my vase. So I'm going in doing that, just doing them as yellow swirls, um, because I had actually misremembered exactly how they looked. And I'm just going to, at this point, be doing the rest of the flowers that are coming in. And I'll let you have some music while you watch the rest of that. section it's using two reds one orange um, uh, two of those paints are pearl paints by Arteza as you can see I layered orange on one then a different red on here and also doing a red to the one in the corner the flowers around the outside I have put in as uh, I'm calling them wild card flowers. Um, just the order of the paint that goes on on them is going to be kind of a mix of all of them together. Um, so you can see the third paint being put on there. I think it's um, Strawberry Red by uh, Pearl Strawberry Red by Arteza um, as the final colour there. The reason why I put these colours in the middle of all of the sunflowers and made them bigger you may have noticed than the others is um, I wanted these to draw focus from the piece so you've got the um, milk jug star on the starry night on the own below and then above it you have got the these three focal flowers Thank heavens it turned out that way, that they look so, so, so great. Um, you'll see, as I'm going through this, pe this piece, this is my fairly chaotic process, um, because I will notice something and I will fix it there and then, um, but it's, it's just how I, 
I did this piece. I loved doing it. I actually did it over my, the week off I took of over my birthday this year in May. And it is amazing. I love how these Nova flowers come out. They are so, so, so good. Um, and they also look a bit sunflowery as well, I think. Um, so once again, I'm using the very thin strips of tissue paper. Um, the You will notice at points there are larger gaps. It's where I'm trying to tear the tissue paper to be the right thickness. Um, my dyspraxia coming out in the... I can't tear things in a straight line. Oh, if the audio of me actually doing this, you would have heard quite a bit of swearing in the background. Um, but I don't do that because... I do the um, voiceover and you would have had two hours of me droning on. No one wants that. So I will leave you to watching the flowers come together with some more music. So, 
after the red and orange flowers are done, I'm back in layering the dark blue and dark purple flowers. So, as, as I've explained on the other ones, I'm layering them in different orders, so no one flower is going to be the same as the others, which is wonderful. Um, something I have noticed while recording this, um, I think I've done another rainbow piece, but without realising it at the time, I've got the exact rainbow palette in the various colours that I'm using. I thought I'd missed out yellow, but I haven't, obviously, because of the, um, the, the swirls on the, on the vase. Ah, <sighs> because I accidentally had the, um, um, trans pride colours in the back on one of the sets of flowers. So I'm starting with doing the flowers once again. That is, however, one of my wild card flowers out on the outer edge, and it actually is my favourite, because the way that the magenta and the blue and the purple actually come in together is amazing. Um, just looks so, so, so gorgeous. I love how this whole piece ends up turning out. You'll, you'll see a, you'll see it at the end, but it is so gorgeous. And I love how these vines, how I've managed to get the vines to come in that have been sneaking in as we go through. And there you can see I'm doing, popping some more in there as we go. And with those, it's three different green colours um, that are blown out. Um, you just see me doing the edge in purple on the vase there, and also finger painting in the rest of the white around the edge of the canvas. I did that because the white paint was drying, um, so I wanted to get the paint spread out as I wanted to the edge. Um, so these flowers look a bit more chaotic because they're so close to each other, but I managed to get a fairly cool effect with some um, petals overflowing over each other and going over the vines and in one case coming up um going in between each other which if you want that sort of effect literally you just swipe over the color that you're going to and you end up having to do some fiddling in the background afterwards just to make sure that the color is going on top of the other piece and it looks like things are going to the fore and background. Um, so yeah, I'm having a time of my life there, getting all of the last little bits done with the flowers coming out and editing a little bit there with putting some more white paint in for um, to clear up some mess that had come in. So, yeah, this this piece is an homage, as I say, an homage to uh, Vincent Van Gogh, who I love. I I love his work, and I managed to combine one of my own techniques and a technique that other people use the Dutch pour quite a bit um, to create something that is a surrealist version of his work. What I'm doing here by the way is finger painting in the swirls into the middle of the flowers. You will see them on the close-up in a few moments time. So, before I go through to the wet result, thank you so much for watching this, 
uh, thank you for following my channel. Please like the video, please subscribe to see more wonderful pieces like this. Um, and I'll leave you to the last few moments of me going through this piece and fiddling around with the vines there. Hey guys, here's the wet result. I'm having to step so far back at a really uncomfortable angle. Oh, spending three to four hours on this piece. My back is not what it was. Um, so yeah, here is the final result. I'm just going to kind of go up and then pan over. So you can see my... <sighs> homage to Vincent van Gogh, or Van Gogh if you're American, I'm not entirely sure what the right pronunciation is to be fair. Um, so yeah, it's an homage, well, you would have heard this already in the video, but yeah. I love this piece, I love how those have turned out, I love that the little swirls have come out as well as they have accidental trans colours there, but, you know, trans life matters. If you get trans out of it, you get trans out of it. It is amazing and beautiful, just as our trans brothers, sisters and siblings are. And if you don't believe that, fuck off to another channel, you're not welcome here. Um, and then moving in to the reds and orange flowers loving how the swirls have come out there um also love how i am um, and this isn't actually on the video this was done off camera because my recording equipment lost power but i didn't just like the leaves sticking up so i decided to um uh, incorporate the coals into that and look at that oh, the spots there i'm probably going to take out I'll probably black over those. But the green going into the red on the swirly bit, love it. Um, and then, of course, we have the milk jug. But on that one itself is an homage to Starry Night. And Starry Night over the Rhone, I believe, um, was the other piece that I looked at before that. I might go in and... Just where you see here, I might do some vertical lines of yellow, but I'll embellish that in afterwards. But I don't know if that would labour the point a bit much. Um, yeah, so then we move from our reds, magenta and orange, through to the purple and blue flowers. Again, the green going into the purple and the blue on the swirl there is amazing and i love how i've managed to get it where you've got um petals crossing behind each other oh it is gorgeous and amazing and fantastic and we've got the petal there going over the spout of the milk jug and coming into the purple on its own flower just two colors were in that one i think and then going up to the other wild card flower there with the blue, purple, and magenta, and then our twisting leaves going into the two sprouting flowers just on the edge there. That I did just to get the um, green bits to work a bit more with the curliness. It's still drying, obviously, at the moment, as it's a wet result, but I've also got the curls going through the what would be the table on the original piece. Um, I did a lot of finger painting around the edges, just getting the colour on around the bits where I didn't need to do the liquid, the fluid art. And I'm hoping that that texture stays, as that was something that came out in Van Gogh's pieces as well, that I've seen at least. So yeah, just going to back up, not trip over Captain Red Pants, my dog. It's called Red Sheeran. Um, you get the, the pun there. And there we go. Um, catch you next time. Bye! 
and here is the final dried result. A um, few more embellishments, a few other bits changed. Um, I took a little bit out of the um, of the swirls of the yellow, and I've redone those. But yeah, it's so gorgeous. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sissy Artist. Um, the same on Facebook and um, at Desson Paul on Twitter. Catch you next time.